Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for March. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. I've already done one uh, Libra reading, and I'll tag it to the end in case you haven't seen it for March. This is just an update. Keep in mind that uh, it may not resonate right now. It may not resonate at all because I can't read for every single every single person. It may resonate later. It may have already happened. You know, it is what it is. This is for Libra. What do we got for Libra? March. What does Libra need to know? Surrender. Surrender. Let it be. Let go and let God. It it's a time of trusting and having faith. And whatever the plan is, letting the plan be the plan without you determining what the plan is. Complete surrender. Libra. Let me get these cards to shuffle. What do we got for Libra for the month of March? And be please bear with me. It is Mercury retrograde and I can't speak for nothing. So my words are like jumble. Um, what do we got for Libra, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for Libra? Please show me what Libra needs to hear. Tell me what Libra needs to hear. What's going on with Libra for the rest of this month? Or at some point. For whoever needs it. Right? Whoever needs it the most. That's the message. Oh. Four of Swords. Time of recuperation. Now, we got three swords up here. There's, there's been a painful, perhaps a painful separation. Or a painful situation. There's pain. There's grieving. There's sadness. There's power down here. There's truth down here. But it's down here. It's like somebody is healing from a painful situation. Going through a period of recover. They can accept the truth and take their power back whenever they want. But they haven't done so yet. Right now it's a time of recovery and recuperation. Letting go of an idea. Letting go of something that you may have been focused on for quite some time. Oh, God. It's funny that I pointed out the Three of Swords up there, isn't it? And then we get the Three of Swords. Like I said, it's a, it's, there's pain. There's pain here. The three of Swords is pain. It's grieving. It's, it's rejection. It's sadness. It's, it's hurt. Somebody is hurting. Perhaps they've been left out in the cold, and now you may feel like you're a victim, but this period of darkness that you have been through is about to be over with, okay? The light is going to start shining again, and perhaps that's what's happening. Perhaps, some see, the light is starting to come in, so perhaps the light is starting to come in again. Um, oh, three of cups reversed. There's a lack of, of joy, okay? It's like you're not really happy about a situation. Maybe there's a third-party situation here. Perhaps you were trying to manifest something because threes are about your prayers being heard, but we have this three of swords. and Maybe you've been trying to make something. That's why surrender is here. Happen. Maybe you've been trying to manifest something that isn't meant to be. 
and I don't know if that's the case, but that's probably that's what I heard. So that's what I think. I think that somebody has been holding on to an emotional loss for a long time, hoping for the best, hoping that there'd be a reunion. And now it's like realizing that, you know, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, yeah, there's no victory and success. There's no forward movement. There's no progress being made in regards to what you were hoping for. And I feel like it's really time for you to break free. It is. It's time for you to liberate yourself from this insecure, unstable situation that you have been painfully uh, connected to. I feel like you guys have been holding on to the pain for quite some time and not releasing it. Really not releasing it. Just holding on to it. Hoping and praying for something to, you know, come back around and... You know, now it's time for you to move on. Now it's time for you to transition out of this troublesome, hurtful phase in your life. It is. It's time to leave those pain, leave that pain behind. It really is. Um, you see, there's three swords behind her. It's time to leave the pain behind and face what's ahead. Okay. Um, this is the journey to balance and harmony, but you have to take it. You actually have to paddle. You have to you have to move to that other place. You have to take the lead. You are, you're in charge. You have to steer the boat, you know. So I feel like you guys are in the process of moving out of a really difficult, painful situation. Maybe somebody cho chose somebody else over you or I don't know what happened. Um, and I feel like you guys are being told to turn your back and focus on the future. Focus on what's in front of you, not what's behind you. <laughs> I think some of your expectations have been dashed. And now it's time to go in a different direction. Um, I think you have been... In a process, a waiting process, you, you guys have really been waiting for a long time. You've been waiting for somebody to make progress. You've been waiting for somebody to head in your direction. You've been waiting for, for something to happen that had probably already ended a while ago. You've been waiting for somebody to come back that left you out in the cold. But I feel like you're coming to the realization that that's not going to happen. I feel like you guys are definitely, this is a card of transition, this is a card of transition, you're going through a transition, you are going through a transformation as well, it's like you're, you are, it's like you're no longer resisting as much as you were, I think that you're changing, you're feeling, you're starting to feel different, um, you're doing everything in your power to bring balance back to your emotions, back to your life, to your thoughts. You're you're trying to um I can't what's the word? Uh, redefine yourself, perhaps. Um I feel like you're going through some sort of renewal. Maybe you're going through this healing pers this healing, um, like I said, I can't talk. This healing period that is um, go helping you to go through some sort of spiritual awakening. I think that you you're not only are you going through just I mean you're going through a spiritual transformation right now. Okay, you're ascending and you're beginning to realize that you have other opportunities. I think you've been through some serious conflict. You've had some serious power struggles probably with yourself, okay, about letting go of somebody that really hurt you. I think that somebody has really hurt you and you've had a really hard time letting it go. Um, I think that somebody, I think that you've been, you know, crying over this loss for years perhaps or quite a while and um, now it's like, realizing that you know maybe I don't even want this anymore I think you you may have changed during this process you may have come to the conclusion that you know you don't even want this anymore that you're better than this that you deserve more than this you know I really feel like you guys are moving to a much better place um after after really hoping and praying for for somebody to come back around that betrayed you in some way um 
I see a change here, a big change. Um, maybe you're deciding to relocate. Maybe um, you're letting go of this unrealistic situation. This is unrealistic. There's no more growth. It's it's an it's a loss. It is a loss, and I think that you guys have. been distracted um, by your own negative thoughts for too long. I feel like whoever this person is that you tried to hold on to wasn't well suited for you. And you may not see it that way, and that's okay, but this is what the card says. This person wasn't well suited for you. This person was a Debbie Downer. It was unrealistic. It was dissatisfying. Whether they were the one that was dissatisfied or you, somebody was dissatisfied, and they moved on. And I feel like now you are accepting this change. Um, and this isn't, it isn't what you wanted. I know that it's not what you wanted, but You have another option. You have options. You have another option for love here. Okay? You do. You have another option. This is options. You have another option for love here. And maybe you're, you are deciding that it's, it's time. It's divine timing. This is divine timing. You're, you're, you're deciding or you're accepting that it's time to focus on somebody else. Okay? With the Five of Cups reverse, it's in this, there's another option here. There's another option. And I feel like you guys are beginning to realize that there's another option. You could have a new love offer coming in. It could be from a Sagittarius. could be from an uh, Aries or a Leo as well. could be from a fire sign. Um, I'm not sure. But I feel like you... There's not a lot of majors in this reading. I think there's only one. This is all by your own doing. Okay? Because majors are divinely guided. Free will plays a part. You guys have been stuck in a situation of a painful situation by your own will, and you're, and that's why the, that's why surrender is here. Surrender, surrender to the divine, because this is the divine right here, the, the Temperance card. Okay. Now that you surrender, you're gonna call in new love. So if you haven't surrendered, and you're here in this period of extreme heartache, I mean, that's what it is, then you are being called to surrender and allow and accept because I really feel like it's time for you to fly. It's time for you to break free. It's, and, but you have to take that step because of all these minors. I mean, out of all these cards, we got one major. This is in your hands. It's in your hands. If you don't paddle that boat out of this situation, if you don't get out, if you don't move out of whatever this is, then they can't help you because free will plays a part. Um, I think that you guys are going through ma a major transition in your life where it's just like, I want love. I know that I'm not going to get it from here. Perhaps I know that it's time for me to surrender to the divine. So I feel like it is a time of surrender. I think that you're beginning to realize that you have another option. Um, it, it's not what you want. I can see that it's not what you want, but... <sighs> Whoever you were dealing with that left you in the cold, that left you in misery, they don't see your value. They don't see your value. And you need to value yourself because if you don't value yourself, then certainly nobody else is going to value it, you. Now, this is not dealing with the pain either. Upright, she has dealt with the pain. You have to deal with the pain. You have to accept the pain to get the blessing. So some of you really, truly need to surrender to this pain and, and feel it, acknowledge it. And not that you haven't felt it. I know that you have. But accept it. I mean, realize that this suffering, because true suffering brings you the blessing, is going to bring you a bigger blessing. It is. You've got to look at it from a different perspective. Now... For some of you, there's a lack of self-worth here. I mean, settling for less. Is that what you deserve? Is, is that what you deserve? Somebody who doesn't value you? Somebody that doesn't see your worth? Somebody that doesn't care if they hurt you? Is that, is that truly what you deserve? You know, you probably feel like there's no closure. You probably feel like there's unfinished business. This is a lesson that needs to be learned about your free will. 
about your self-worth, about what you deserve. I think that there, you guys are holding on to a situation that is already ended and you're making progress but you haven't completely closed that door and it's time. With the temperance card, it's time. It's time to love yourself enough to just close this chapter of your life and walk away completely from whatever this is. You know what it is. I don't have to tell you. There's no wish fulfillment with whatever it is that you have been holding on to, so it's time for you to allow. This is this is insecurity. You have to face your insecurities. You have to have faith in what's meant to be I mean this is this is divinely guided this is what's meant to be this is upright okay this is you being protected okay this is you not receiving what you wanted because it wasn't meant to be and now we're getting the divine cards the majors right one two three because you can't fight the divine. You can't fight what is it meant to be. So I feel like you guys have to make a decision to accept the bad news, to accept what it is, to close that chapter and focus on a new opportunity because you do have a new opportunity for love here. You do? But somebody is not making the right judgment call and they need to wake up. Somebody's been hoping for a reconciliation that's not going to happen. It's time to wake up. It's time to become aware somebody has been in a period of self-loathing because they didn't get what they wanted. It's time to wake up. There's no chance of whatever this is that you've held on to that is breaking your heart that it's going to come back around. And you deserve love. You do. You need to drop this right now. It's too heavy to carry around. It's time to drop something that you have been carrying and you know what it is. I don't have to tell you. You're not going to have a reconciliation no reunion with whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but you do. That's too many cards. It's, it's too much. It's too much. You need to let it go. Surrender to the divine. Sur surrender to whatever is meant to be will be, and you will have a partnership. You will receive a blessing. You will get what you are meant to have, but until you surrender, there's going to be pain. Forgive. Forgiveness is needed. This is forgiveness is needed and this is forgiveness is needed. Forgiveness. You have another option, but it's like you're not, you can't, can't let go of something that needs to be let go of. It's killing you. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life.
The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you. Inner and outer success is coming your way. Thriving is a state of mind. Accept that you can reach any goal and even more victories will expand in your life. The more you feel it, the more you feel it, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune will pour into your life. The Sacred Traveler wants you to know, arriving in a foreign hamlet, wreaths of flowers are placed around the Sacred Traveler's shoulder, shoulders. The townspeople celebrate and honor the Traveler. The village elders know the challenges faced and overcome are welcoming with open arms. If a situation knocks you over, get up and brush yourself off and discover what you learned. You aren't a failure if you fall down, only if you stay down. So keep going and believe in yourself. This is what true success is. Acknowledge your accomplishments in life. There they are more than you imagine. Victory, good fortune, and triumph are ahead. But you have to take that step. The door is open to victory and success. It is. All you got to do is walk through it. Complete that last chapter. You know what it is. It was a painful one. I can see that it was very painful. Close that door and go through the new one. Down that new path towards light, towards happiness. You have another partner. You just got to choose wisely. This is also a card of consequences right here. If you make the wrong choice, you have to live with those consequences. Somebody's been holding on to a situation that has ended a long time ago and it's time to break free surrender that's what time it is it's time to surrender you have another opportunity don't look back and that means don't look back on social media either Because every time you do that, you tell the universe you haven't surrendered. Good luck.